Argentina's government has tightened dollar exchange controls over the past months in a move aimed at fattening the central bank's international reserves facing a global scenario where the so-called world powers still spread out crisis and uncertainty. But telling Argentinians, mainly middle and upper classes, you cannot buy dollars can lead to big pot banging protest with people calling a democratically elected president to leave office. The green currency has been a top saving shelter for decades here, challenging Argentina's devaluated peso currency. People should have the liberty to do whatever they want with their savings and hoard money in the currency they want. I do not understand why government has to tell me what I have to do with my money. If I want to save dollars, I do it. I have pesos and in two months they are worthless due to current inflation. Less radical than a noisy anti-government demonstration and with a philosophical spirit that could be described as utopist, Patricio Fink thinks he has found a way to do whatever you want to do with your money, dodging official controls. Bitcoins. The 24-year-old software developer has been dealing with this method for two years now, needing only his smartphone and online access to MTGOX, Bitcoin's top exchanger, to check the cyber currency's rates. So could Argentinian's green fever turn into a Bitcoin contagious? It could be an alternative, a refugee for currency value. Now that it is so complicated to buy dollars here, Bitcoins could be an option. A speculation could take it up but also down. I never recommend someone to invest in risk all the capital in this business. People should know that they could at least lose half of their money. If that happens, risks must be carefully considered, with the emerging news over e-trading reaching $250 and plunging to $60 almost overnight in the past days. Bitcoins have become serious business. Fink explains that Cyprus outbursts and bailout have led many people to take their money away from crashing banks and find protection under the bit economy, prompting fluctuations of a phenomenon that detractors already call a speculative bubble. I don't believe in bitcoins as a way to buy them so that their price increase and I earn more money. I believe in bitcoins as a new type of currency and a new way of having strong money without having anyone to control you. There are people that of course speculate with it and others like me that use bitcoins as a regular currency to buy and sell things. The new currency that has now landed in Argentina came to virtual life in 2009 and its distribution is independent from any government or centralized authorities. According to local Bitcoins pioneers, around 2,000 users in Argentina have started to become interested in the online commodity. It is yet to see if the digital money settles down as an option for dollar swap for those who want to avoid government exchange controls but don't want to turn to black market caves where the green currency far exceeds official rates or if it is used for speculation. Constanza Heller, Press TV, Buenos Aires.